Hey, Shepard. So, Hi. so yeah. I, had, I had to have a little technical. Hey, how are you doing, man? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. But yeah, I'm, I'm, can you can you yeah, hear? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. You, yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, you know these international, yeah. these country the, across the ocean kind of things. You know, <laughs> what can we say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been, I've been wanting to sure, talk. Man. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while, you know, just to find out. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was very busy in the last days in, uh, in Makanda because I had to with the marking and the moderation of marks and all of that. So mm. it was hectic, hectic. Mm. And uh, yeah, but now I'm in, I'm in Cape Town. I arrived Friday. I drove all the way from, Ooh. from Makanda to Cape Town. So I arrived Friday. Oh, okay. All right. So, but listen, uh, okay, yeah. but by the way, let me just ask you now, you're, you're teaching at university there. Are y'all going to classes? Or, you know, in the States, we zoom in and all the rest of this stuff. What are y'all, are y'all together? What's going on there? It's still zooming. And uh, then, then when we moved from level five to level one, we, we moved level five, level four, level three. When we hit level three, went to level two, then there was a gradual allowance of students to come back to campus. About a, first it was a, a 30% of the students, 33%. Then the next lot, when we moved to level two, was 66%. So we 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 didn't have 100% by the time we ended the year. It was still about 66%. And the rest were, and, and there it would be, we prioritize those students who do not have, uh, for some reason, are struggling with access from home. Mm. And, you know, we the country hasn't had a very good uh, network connectivity across everywhere. Mm. It's, uh, there are pockets where it's, it's bad, you know. There's no connection. And In fact, I, I have uh, one student at least, so there could be more, but one student was staying in an area, in a rural area, in a village, in uh, the Transka is called uh, uh, Elliot Elliot Dale. Is uh, mm -hmm. uh, a place in in his course is called Koha. Mm -hmm. She was staying in that village, and she just could not connect. You know, she would connect for like a few uh, minutes, and then it dies down. Mm -hmm. And then they, they bought her a laptop, which the universities do. That uh, uh, you know they they loan students laptops, but they the bursa for the for some of the students, especially the students who are needy, who are like uh, in the category of the the, the poorest uh, uh, category. You know mm -hmm. they they get bursaries from a, a national bursa called Nisfas. Mm -hmm. So they got Nisfas, got them laptops, but now with this student, she got a laptop. When she got a laptop. The, the, the next week, I was uh, I connected with her to show her how to use some of the software for editing, for audio editing. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going through with her, it took about 15 minutes, and the next thing, the, 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 the laptop dies. The, the, I mean, the connection dies. Mm -hmm. And when I call her um, on, um, on a phone, and asked what happened, and then she said, and I would only connect with her a few minutes later. She said, no, a battery died. Mm. And so I said, okay, look, charge up the battery. Why didn't you? And in fact, at that moment, I'd forgotten that there's no electricity in the village. So she couldn't charge up. To mm. charge mm. up, she has to pay a taxi, return fare on a taxi of 110 uh, is 128 or so rands really back and forth with the taxi, yeah, to, to the nearest town where she charges the, the laptop for 10 rands. She, she, they, they charge a 10 rands to charge, so it's cheap to charge at least. But then you know, you pay this 128, uh, and then she comes back, so it takes a day of inactivity. And the university never factors this thing when they plan. Uh, because they plan on the basis of all the students having uh, Wi-Fi and whatever, you know. Yeah, they, they, they and, play, and yet the majority 
Yeah, yeah. They, they play on what, what we call, you know, middle class values. But let, let me ask you something. I, 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 wow, that, that's a illuminating. But, you know, years ago, I was I was trying to, well, you know, who am I? I can't push for anything. I was trying to tell people about Li-Fi and that what should happen as, yeah, as, as that. Very much. I thought, thought of you throughout this process. <laughs> that your, your brother Sloan, he was uh, way ahead of, of our times, man, because he came... He, he had this uh, idea of, of life, you know. He, yeah, man, I, I just thought of you, you know. Yeah, yeah but 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 the, the idea, even now, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, let, let me go it this way. Here's the thing. Now, yeah. as, as we know, if you want to say who runs or who has the power in South Africa, for me, the most powerful sector, if you want to put it that way, as far as uh, on the ground, is, is the taxis. Of course, the taxi yeah. unions. They're, they're, that's the most powerful. Forget the police. Yeah. For, forget oh, gangs. Yeah. Is the taxis. Okay. Now, then, I guess, in a yeah. weird sort of sense, the university, even though there's not a lot, is sort of like the next power. Okay, I'm not saying that's yeah. true. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just making this postulate. Now, isn't there a way yeah. that the university can force the government, right, to uh, for yeah. this infrastructure because because you have so many rural areas or whatever have you for this, especially now you can use COVID as as an, as a as an excuse to put pour this money into so yeah. where so where the university uh, forces the government to supply. I don't want to say Li-Fi, but anything that would have connectivity to every area in South Africa. That's my question. How is the, is the university yeah. powerful enough to do that? And because, okay. It is. It is, but the, the question is not well, whether it is powerful. It definitely is powerful. The question is whether it has the will, the, the political will on the part of the universities, because the universities don't... Uh, don't seem to have, don't seem to uh, recognize that they have this power. When they do recognize, then they seem to be scared. They don't have the will to to exercise it, you know, to 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 demand uh, of government to to do that. And now, I mean, with this pandemic, it's really kind of open, and it, it's so good because. For the first time, it has brought into the lecture theater, uh, the lecture rooms. It has brought all the contradictions of our society. So for the first time, the lecturers themselves, when we were doing an evaluation, I was saying to my colleagues, it's so good because all of us now, for the first time, can see the conditions under which our students uh, 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 live. Because before the university was an equalizer, you thought that these kids in front of you, inside the classroom, they all come from equal background. You you didn't see the 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 the, the what did, what do they call it now in computer language? Uh, you didn't see the back uh, um, the back end of mm. of their lives. You know mm. you were you were seeing them on face value on on uh, presenting themselves in front of you inside the classroom. And you thought they all came from the same socioeconomic background. But this pandemic has exposed that, you know. Let, 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 the let fact me, that they had to open and I have, I have another thing. Here's the thing about this whole, when this pandemic first started, the first thing I said, uh, or, you know, to a bunch of people, I said, look, uh, the, the powers that be is going to take advantage of, everybody thinks it's cons just conspiracy theory, whatever, but they're going to take advantage of the pandemic to their advantage. So my basic question always is, okay, you, you know, you're going to do, you know, the, the stimulus check, for instance, in the United States all goes to, to, to like the, what, the shipping lines or whatever have you. Whatever, they go to places that right now we have another stimulus bill and you got people, you, I think the Pakistan, Pakistan is getting money. Uh, Israel is getting money. They got a, they got money to study fish in Gulf of Mexico. All kinds of things other than money for the people, you know. And of course, the the politicians, yeah. the politicians are perpetrating that. But there's no people organization enough to really, you know, get. get I don't know. People just, I don't know what they call it. My quite my, but my point really is, this you, you can. If the pandemic is the pandemic. And everybody is, is an let's put this the, the virus is an opportunistic uh, virus. Why why can't we be opportunistic? You know, was the force of the evil forces take this opportunity to do their evil things? Can't we find 
because you know you still have student unions all over all over forget the university even if the student unions they, yeah. they came together with fees must fall or statutes must fall why can't they come together with forget falling yeah. you know uh uh uh, uh why, wire up south africa what i'm sorry let me start all over again not wire up south africa this is my whole postulate about um uh, about life fire wire up southern africa in other words which i'm talking about yeah. you go through uh -huh. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you you know what I'm saying? You know the 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 you know, the, the SADC yeah. countries. They all it's just the SADC countries. Forget that. All SADC countries all over. They all got to come together. We're wiring it up. We keep free. We're talking about free uh, wow. internet access. Now this is the opportunity to do this. How can this get done? Is what I'm asking you. Yes. You as a former student activist, you tell me how this is, can be done. Yeah. No, no, it, it definitely can be done. The student activists themselves. What I've done, for instance. Take the case of that student of mine I was talking talking to you about. That student, I said to her, uh, when when I heard now the story, I said to her, listen here, what do you think uh, must be done in the circumstances that you are in? And for me, I was watching her awareness of the agency that she has in her hands. And uh, I picked up that she, she has an inclination in that direction. Then we began to talk about, look, even if it's a project, because for the first time, possibilities of you uh, validating the, the, the reason uh, and the, 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 the hopes of the people in your village, your family, the people in your village, for having sent you to university. Now, for the first time, it's it's possible for us to, to validate the worth of the university by you getting involved in projects that will then uh, address this need, which include from solar, solar power in the village, because, I mean, there is a lot of sun in the village. You know, the fact that there's no electricity is, uh, shouldn't stop us. So it's solar, and then secondly, it's... Uh, it's some ways of addressing this, uh, this, uh, uh, these pockets of what, what do they call? They call it a blind spot, you know, mm -hmm. or, 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 or a spot, a hidden spot of the connectivity where there is no connect. So it's it's uh, it's worth it, um, and that's a university. That should be a university uh, project mission. The student movement, of course, ought to take it. I mean, they they don't even need to hesitate about. Uh, picking up on this and doing something. The, my frustrations with the student movement is it was battered through those fees must fall struggles. They were they were they were battered because they they kind of in a in, in a number of campuses, including my campus, they went back uh, to 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 classrooms, to lecture uh, rooms, uh, defeated in the sense mm. that they are mm. immediate. Uh, goals were not achieved, and then so they went back. And when they went back, they uh, they kind of had their their uh, uh, tail between their legs, and it it's always very difficult to call students back to to the streets after that because you you I mean whereas if you demonstrate your achievements that you 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 made in the previous struggle, it's pretty easier. Mm. To call upon them again. Well, you know, you, you know, the, see the the problem the problem you have with yeah. the problem we have with student movements, and I can tell you from experience, and, and you you should know this too. Uh, this one thing I learned from when we we had the upheaval in the sixties. The problem with oh, any movement is that student movements. The problem is the student is only student for what four years, maybe five years, maybe six years. Yeah. Then, then they move right. on. So there's no there's no sustaining of it. This is why I'm saying something else. I'm saying something else. You cannot rely on the students exactly. You can rely on the unions because the, 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 the student union has a little bit longer longevity. But the problem I think really is you have to, it has to be a, a, a region-wide thing. That's why I keep on saying static, 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 static. I don't understand why we can't get static. All because you know, you have countries in Southern African region is, is I'm gonna say, it's rich. They got money. They they got minerals, they got resources, they got they got bartering power, and and and, and that way, and, and you and and then you have brain power. 
And, you know, somebody in, in, in Lesotho yes. is just as smart as somebody in Botswana, just as smart as somebody, uh, you, uh, you yeah. know, in Madagascar, you, whatever. And if all, if, if, if as a static yeah. thing, I, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm frustrated because I, I know what I'm talking about. And I've had these thoughts for somebody, and every yeah. every year goes by, every month it goes by. I have other thoughts that builds on, builds on, builds on that. And I'm right. I'm not writing no papers. I'm not. You know what I mean? I ain't got no influence to nobody. Uh, the stuff of the work that I'm doing in Dumbaza is doing some other stuff. But I I'm, I really think that it has to be a student slash youth movement that 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 is region wise. Yeah. Student slash youth because youth youth groups tend to last a little bit longer than the, than the student things. And then you have to, here we go. This is the big one now. This is the real big one. Student slash union. Yeah. Those, those are those, that's the, uh, the, 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 the head of the sphere, if you want, the tip of the sphere, if you want. It's backed by, uh, um, tribal, how do I say tribal? What am I talking about? Uh, tra uh, traditional councils. You know what I'm saying? Chiefs. Yeah. In other words, the chiefs are, the, yeah. uh, the chiefs can never be, the, the the they're not as powerful as the taxi gangs or the politicians or the or the anything, but they can be the the right. the backup. So in other words, and the chief councils, you know, if you get them to do the, all these the traditional councils, they're the backup for the students yeah. slash youth movements, and then that became that that creates another gang as well. I don't want to say like another uh, you know uh, uh, another factor, another power base. Now, am I wrong with this? And would yeah. it just work in your head? Because you, you know, you, you're you're smarter than I am with this sort of stuff. <laughs> you, you're a struggle real, leader for real, <laughs> and you stay that way. T tell me, tell me, tell me where I'm, where this will fall apart. Tell me where I'm wrong. Or tell me what the possibilities are. Oh, no, no, you 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 spot on. Especially if you say with the uh, student unions, the the, the uh, university, like the unions. For, because I think that's where our it's a weakest weakest link at this stage. Because if we could reactivate that that level of organization, I think that it will get us far. And secondly, uh, you are right in 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 the sense that they need support and allies at different levels. My my uh, uh, trust really doesn't lie so much on the traditional leaders because the traditional leaders have discredited themselves in the process because they tend to be uh, the uh, what do you call it now the overseers yeah they know, can be yeah, of can, land, yeah, 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 yeah. To land and they antagonize their local constituencies in the process because what happens is that if they give access to land and therefore to mineral rights under the land and it's usually to companies, and it's usually yeah. at the, at the, in, in return or something for their own well, pockets. Well, what the, what, so they've discredited No, I, no, I understand that part. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Sheppy, I understand that perfectly. I'm sorry. I understand that. And that's their thing. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. That's their thing. This is something else. You're asking them to support the, the, yeah. the youth in their, the youth in their, in, in their areas, the, the youth, the, 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 the youth, yeah. For something else that they, they that they're not they can't really uh, how do you say they can't really pimp right away and all it is is yeah. for the their 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 their, their charges I don't know their, their villages or whatever have you to have this uh, it's in communications okay it has nothing to do with min digging the minerals or anything like that you, you understand what I'm saying it's something that they they won't be able yeah. to to they won't be able to 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 game right away because you know and and and, and on all you're asking. Yeah, no, no. As long as, as long as as long as it's clear there, because they, they what I found is that if they see opportunities for gain, they will support it, but on condition that they will have, uh, you know, they, they they use their muscle to to kind of uh, work out benefits for themselves. But there are there are pockets of uh, of examples like the 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 uh, uh, the, the Bafokin community in in the northwest. Which, which did this thing, and it did it successfully, and is able to control. It's got schools in the community, and it was traditional leaders that were leading this process. They've got schools, they've got, they've got an enclave of development, which is amazing, man. Mm. I mean, schools with computers, with computerized like laboratories, and uh, fully stocked libraries. Mm -hmm. they, they work very well in the Northwest, yeah. Okay, so let, it let, needs uh, an exemplary leadership. 
well, on the side of traditional leadership. Well, well, let, 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 let me go. Let me keep on brainstorming this. I, I'm sorry I have to be so forceful with this because I want to be very, I'm trying to be kind of uh -huh. clear. I'm not looking for laptops yeah. and all the rest of that stuff. I'm looking for connectivity, yeah, yeah, yeah. which means I'm looking for energy sources yeah. and, 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 and an internet way that will work. I say Li Fi will work yeah. better, whatever happens. Yeah. But then, let, let me go. Let, let's talk yeah. about energy. You know, uh, graphene is coming on, yeah. on, 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 this, on this situation. You got solar power. Now, South Africa or Southern Africa, what you're, this blows my mind. Let me give you another thing. You, you know how I'm always thinking in the future. There's a thing called wave yeah. power. I don't know if I talked to you about before, where basically the, the force of the waves gives you energy. Okay? Now, so you set up these yeah. contraptions in the ocean. Now, Southern Africa has two oceans. You know, they have the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. Now, if you set up these things, it's like a barrier. I don't know how to explain it. But not only will you deal with the sharks not being a, a, a bigger a bigger threat, but this gives you the energy. And this is like a passive thing. But you can also put this wave power catches also in rivers and all the rest of this stuff. And if you, and, and you, yeah. you know, so in other words, I'm trying to say, instead of government or whatever, put, you know, let the private people do their wind power or whatever, their solar power, because they, they're on that already. But this wave power, the, this wave power can benefit, again, the entire static region. I'm going to keep on saying static. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I hate South, South Africa as, as a term. Southern Africa, static. Yeah. I'm talking about static, yeah. static, static, static. I'm tired of this because this, this country, oh, we're country. No, static. Want some little Pan-Africanism? Static, 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 huh? static. It has to be a static-wide yeah. movement that we're going to set up this wave power to go through or uh, to go through rivers and or, and to oceans to give us the energy that we need to get to either power live fire, whatever. We don't have to we have to do no cables and nothing like that. And and the, the things about laptops or whatever it is, you know, people will buy their or they'll find their own their own uh, cell phones because this benefits not just students. I'm talking about like I always like to say, the goat herders, the goat herder in Lesotho can now talk to the goat herder in Peru. That kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So anyway, no, definitely. I, I I don't I don't know how you know. Definitely. Um, I just don't know how to do that. Definitely. Uh, well, well, anyway. No, there's lots, there's possibilities, there's, the, there's possibilities, there's, as I say, the only thing for me is like, you need, uh, there are structures, they should, they are, I mean, at different levels, then the, even trade unions have got structures across the region. The thing is, uh, is just to activate the will, to, the will to, to, to act on this, because it's, it's a, I think people are beginning now to realize it's the only, only this, this uh, pandemic was a, 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 a blessing in disguise because it, for the first time, it forced us to question everything that we've taken for granted. And, uh, and now possibilities exist for us to think outside the box, to reimagine everything. Well, there's a point. There's a point. Are you, are you going to be able to take this blessing? It's a blessing only if you can receive yeah. it. Well, <laughs> you know. have to. You know? Yeah. No, we have to. We uh, no choice. We have to. Otherwise, for our in our own uh, for our own survival, for the sake of our survival, we have to. There's no no other way. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, Sheppy, no, I want to. No Sheppy, I want to end this part right here. I'm gonna make. The, I'm not. I want to hang up with you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna change the tape. I'm gonna just make this part one. I gotta talk about some other stuff. So hold on just a second.